In this video, we're going to see how to use a multi-label feature classified deep learning model with ArcGIS Pro. Let's first talk about why are we calling it a multi-label feature classifier. What's different about multi-label? Well, as the name suggests, uh, this type of model can classify features as having multiple labels. Uh, you know, in comparison to a usual feature classifier, where it can only be classified as having a single label. So let's just take a random example. There's a feature and uh, that can be classified as A or B or C, only one of them with a single feature classifier. While with multi-label, that feature could be A and B, and the other feature could be only C, and the other feature could be B and C. Let's take a more realistic example. The city authorities want to survey the residential properties and find out which all properties have swimming pools and solar panels. Well, this could be done for many reasons to find out uh, property rates in the area, find out the affluency level and other reasons. Uh, this manual on-field task, which would otherwise take from a few weeks to months, can now be achieved in a few hours using this workflow. The workflow has three parts to it. The first one is to export the labeled dataset. The second one is to train a model using that exported dataset. And then the third part is to do the inference using a trained model. Let's take a look at this data set that we have with us. Um, we have land parcel polygons. And uh, say if we click on this one, and we can see this polygon has uh, a swimming pool and solar panel. Uh, so we can see this one is marked, uh, pool column is marked as one, solar panel is marked as one. One denotes the presence, and zero denotes the absence of a label. Uh, this one has only a swimming pool, so only swimming pool should be marked one right over there. And let's see another one. Okay, this one has only solar panels, so this should be marked one for solar panels. Yes, great. Let's take a look at the attribute table for this feature layer. And one important thing to notice over here is the field names here for multi label has a specific format. It says multi-label M and L capital underscore followed by the name of the label. So once we have these labels, the tool automatically identifies this from this prefix and picks up the text after the underscore and puts it as the label name. You can also see I have another uh, field here called multi-label none. That's only because a lot of uh, polygons are uh, land parcel polygons in this data set neither have a swimming pool nor a solar panel so i want my model to also learn that the the land parcels without a swimming pool or a solar panel so let's export a label data set we can pull up the export training data for deep learning to uh, provide the input raster the input feature layer okay tile size i want to create bigger tiles so that each land parcel is within a tile and metadata format should be multi-label tiles also i want to blacken around the feature so that each tile has only that one specific land parcel and nothing around that land parcel cell size i want a really high resolution industry so i'm giving it a 15 centimeter and then i need to give it a name And you can hit run. Uh, for the sake of time, I already have done this before, and we have this data set here. And we can take a look at it how the tiles look like. So, this is one land parcel in one tile, pretty high resolution. We can see the solar panels. Let's move on to the next step, which is train the deep learning model. You can use this tool, train deep learning model. Uh, we need to provide the input training data, which is the one we just exported. And we can just give it a name, multi-label parcel. And you can leave it out as uh, it is with the defaults, and it will be good to train. But there are a few things you can do if you want to. You can change the number of epochs here. Uh, this should be the same. You can increase the batch size depending on the memory or the GPU memory you have. 
Uh, you can change the chip size if you want to make crops of different types. Uh, you can give a learning rate, but if you don't give one, it finds the optimum one and uses that. There are backbones, different backbones available for a model. You can try that out and uh, you know split the validation set differently. Here in the environment, you can provide a GPU if you have one. I'm going to select this because I have one with my system and just hit run. The model training can take some time. So the, for, for the purpose of this demo, I have the model already trained. It's over here. Now I'm going to use this to do the inference using the classify objects using deep learning tool. I uh, provided the input raster, the input features. And I'll probably call it something simple like that. Give it the model definition that we trained in the previous step. So this is my model here. I'll pick up this. We can again change the bath size and environments. We would want to keep the cell size the same as used uh, for the export data set processor type should be gpu if you have a gpu yes. and yes you can hit run and this might take a while um, and sometimes the progress bar doesn't progress as all very uniformly so don't worry about that but uh, again for the purpose of this demo i already have the inference run on a select region and i'll show you um, so this is my inference layer. If I zoom to this layer, so let's switch to the results. Uh, let's see. Okay, so this one has a swing pool, and uh, we can see. Okay, it has a confidence of 0.99 for the swing pool, and the class label is a pool. The multi-level pool uh, field CS1 and none and solar panels are zero. Let's look at this one. This has a solar panel and a pool. So we can see that pool is 0.98, solar panel is 0.87, and the label is pool, comma solar panel. Multi-level pool is one, solar panel is one, none is zero. And let's try to pick up something over here which has nothing. So we can see that the none confidence is pretty high and the pool and the solar panel are low and it has been correctly classified as having none. This is both of these are zero and none is one. In this video, we saw how to use a multi-label feature classifier deep learning model in RGS Pro. Thank you for watching.